Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about uh, frequency and intensity in handwriting samples. What does it mean and what is emotional impact? My name is Marcel Elvers. I'm a handwriting expert. Please uh, like my channel, subscribe and share. The interpretation of distortions in handwriting is dependent on uh, the big picture view first and foremost. Then we look at frequency and intensity, what we're going to talk about today. And lastly, where the distortions occur in the upper zone, mid zone or lower zone. Here we see a developed writing that suggests inner stability, self-regulation, and discipline. This sample is underdeveloped. There are some challenges in the writing. We see that self-regulation is a little bit uh, off. It's a little bit confused. And uh, frustration comes to the foreground. There are some odd letter structures suggesting anxiety. Or we can have completely disturbed writing. The handwriting is uh, highly uh, uneven, irregular, without control, and that suggests an unstable, stressed mindset. Oftentimes, these individuals feel rejected by society as a whole and maybe self-loathing. So the big picture uh, is determining the overall mental health of an individual. Barack Obama's writing shows good balance between the writing and the paper as far as placement is concerned and the amount of white space versus ink. And when you compare that to Ronald Taylor, who wrote two sentences in one line, and ignored the left margin guideline that suggests it's somebody that leaves no room for others. This is disturbed, overwhelming. Now, from a mental perspective, this is somebody who feels they need to be self-protective with an I'm going to get you before I'm, you can get to me type of attitude. Ronald Taylor one day exploded as his screen door was not fixed by maintenance at his apartment complex, he picked up a gun and went on a killing spree. Of course, the screen door was just a mere trigger to get into action for a long-standing underlying anger issues boiling over suddenly. This is the writing of a real estate agent in the, back in the 90s. It is highly irregular writing, shows high levels of anxiety with enormous intensity or veering away from the norm. The lack of control suggests an individual struggling with their mental health. If a mental health worker would see writing like this, they should start looking into psychosis and or personality disorders. These type of writers need help. The underlying cause for this amount of anxiety in writing is often real, possibly perceived, but often real abuse issues. So when we address frequency and intensity, frequency means how often a particular handwriting characteristic shows up in the writing. In this note by Russell Williams, there is a high frequency of upward strokes that do not belong. High frequency means it's a habitual handwriting characteristics and that reflects on the personality trait. Here we also see the enormous intensity of the distortions. The dis intensity means how severe the distortions are, how far it is removed from accepted standards, handwriting standards. So we have a high frequency and severe distortions, and that suggests non-conforming 
thought processes. Mind you, the absence of handwriting characteristics does not mean the absence of a personality trait. So when we look at this writing, it is odd writing. And just remember, odd writing means odd behaviors, out of the norm behaviors. We can see how he signed his name with the last S being much larger than the first S. And that suggests a lack of tact, bluntness, and often an overcompensation for inferiority. It appears Mr. Russell struggled with his personal identity. He probably over time learned to fantasize, act out his fantasies, and he became, at minimum, a cross-dresser. He is a convicted murderer of two uh, women. He was convicted of breaking and entering, stealing underwear, and that he used to pose at home. Now, when we look at this handwriting, we see a high frequency of leftward movements on top of structures in the upper zone. We see that in the T, we see that in the personal pronoun I and in the Ds. So this is a systemic handwriting characteristic and therefore likely a personality trait. By the way, these loopy Ds and Ts mean sensitivity towards criticism regarding our personal value system and accomplishment. So it is a high frequency. Now in this sample, we see that the handwriting is vertical and then suddenly the personal pronoun I slants backward. And that's a low frequency handwriting characteristic suggesting it is incidental. Incidental characteristics imply something was written and had an emotional impact on the individual. And although I have mentioned uh, Patsy Ramsey before, we can see that her forward thrust strokes, like the T-bars, are all straight and strong forward, except in the sentence, don't try to grow a brain, John. And so the bent shape in the top part of the J suggests emotional impact because it is an incidental and therefore a sudden loss of confidence. Here we see the handwriting of Amanda Knox. She was in jail in uh, Italy. And we see at the word far, the very short T bar suddenly suggesting emotional impact, holding back. We see anxiety in the word worst because the R is suddenly missing. And then we see the back slanted mid zone I in the word didn't. That suggests she is trying to convince people that she is not guilty, which I believe to be true. We see in the M, these mild loopy structures in the uh, mid stem of the M, these are called worry loops. And then we see the disintegration in the personal pronoun I in the green circle. This is a woman, that time a young woman at age 21 or so, sitting in prison in Italy for a crime she did not commit. I'll leave it at that for today. I want you to sign up for my channel and look forward to my future course that I'm currently writing regarding handwriting analysis, statement analysis, and the Enneagram.